Hey, welcome. This is Dr. John Bush for the process and science of fantasy football.com. All my stuff is there with my partner, uh, D. Mike. We're rocking and rolling in preseason. I am in the middle of doing video lessons for the strength of schedule using defense against the position from obviously last year because I can't predict the future. We're going team by team and then the back end of the uh, lessons will focus on uh, specific uh, uh, positions. Okay, so that, that data is coming as well. I'll try to have these uh, figures up on the, the basically the link that I'll post on, on Twitter on the website, the science of fantasy football.com. I'll have it out there and you can come and review. And so lesson 155 started the first four teams of 56, went through the next four. And now with this lesson, we're at Dallas, Denver, Detroit, and Green Bay. Uh, I spent a little bit more time in the, uh, the first lesson, 155, discussing strength of schedule uh, DAPS, which is defense against the position. So I'm assuming you've already seen that, and I'm going to roll accordingly uh, through this material here. So here is our typical format. I start off with the tabular data. And this is Dallas, the week 1 to 18. Dallas has a bye in week 9. Uh, you can look at the home and away games. And my segment of the season is first half FH, second half LAF, uh, last half, and then the fantasy playoffs the pf weeks 15 16 17 some people may only be 16 17 so you'll adjust your information and how you deal with that the opponent is listed uh, per week and the opponent's apparent overall uh, ease or toughness is shown by coloration so washington detroit minnesota Houston, Jacksonville, and Washington again week 18 for Dallas are all very easy and only Chicago is considered tough. The, uh, uh, the ones, uh, the opponents that are, have no coloration is a little bit hard or a little bit easy and you can find that information in what I call off type or offensive type. AA is uh, above average easy, BA is below average tough, and of course the extremes are uh, bright green easy or extra easy and uh, tough is in red. So you can kind of see that. So week one, uh, Dallas has a uh, uh, plays Tampa Bay, and if you're wanting to stream that week, Tampa Bay's defense is in play uh, since their defense daps is uh, uh, tough, so you might want to do that, but then I would not carry Dallas uh, weeks two and three, potentially jumping back on four, five, and six. So this information is good in your drafting to spot trends and blocks of ease and ease and hard here. So uh, if you look at probably the wide receivers, everybody's talking about CeeDee Lamb. Well, his first four weeks is easy or above average easy. So that's really nice. But weeks five, six, seven, and eight, and 10 are hard and tough so that's not good gets a little easy 11 and 12 uh, 14 15 is a little easy 16 is tough and then Tennessee uh, is easy so overall you can kind of help you set your lineup some people argue you always play your stud players there is something to that but you know, if you're playing daily fantasy points, there may be, depending on the week, maybe other plays there. So this can help you that way. You can look at the 
the tight ends, the quarterbacks. Uh, Zeke Elliott and uh, Pollard uh, has a, a tough week one, but two and three are kind of okay. And then week six, seven are kind of okay and good and easy. And then in the playoffs, uh, good news, weeks 15 and 16 should be fairly good as well. So not bad if you drafted uh, Elliott or Pollard, you'll, you'll, you know, if you make it to the playoffs, you'll have at least two of the three weeks in your favor there. So that's the kind of thing that uh, I use this for. It's a, it's a tiebreaker in drafting. If everything's equal, then I might, you know, at least figure this in to uh, my picking. So let's move here. Uh, so this is a visual of the overall strength of the opponent. Anything above the purple is uh, easy and super easy are green. So Dallas really has six easy games, five that are in, uh, you know, fantasy season. Week 18 is kind of out of our purview there. Uh, but the first three weeks are kind of overall uh, easy as well, but it gets tough weeks five, six, and certainly uh, weeks uh, eight going into their bye week nine and then coming out is a little tough, but then 11 and 12, pretty good, 14, 15, and, and so forth. So you can kind of uh, chart the, the pattern and I actually course do that for you. This is a trend line looking at the overall metrics of the opponent's uh, defense, at least based on, again, last year, that's always the caveat. So any of the trend ab above the purple dashed is easy, below is hard, and really Dallas has a nice kind of overall season, does get a little harder uh, weeks, you know, seven and, uh, well, weeks uh, five, six, eight, uh, and ten, but you have a little drop there. Week nine is is the buy there. So Dallas doesn't have too bad a forecasted season. So not bad, not bad. So we're moving to Denver here. Denver spies also week nine. Uh, interesting, Denver first two weeks, Seattle-Houston pretty easy, so that's good. Denver, I wouldn't use their defense week one, so week two is okay, week four, etc. You don't want their defense in the playoffs uh, as well. So you can pick and use this to uh, find a defense streaming partner, at least, you know, based on this. Uh, Wilson has a really nice front half schedule, weeks one to ten. Of course, week nine is a bye, but... Other than week four, it's all above easy or easy. So that is nice. However, the back half, weeks 11, 12 are tough, 15, 16 are tough as well. So he'll have more static uh, to deal with in the playoffs. So you can take a look at this. Uh, let's see, what else? So again, first... Uh, Eight weeks, really, really not bad at all. We're talking four easy, two above average easy games. So that's not bad at all. And they do get in the back halves some above average easy as well. Four, but uh, four hard games. So it gets a little bit trickier for Wilson, especially weeks 12 and 15. So just kind of be this in mind. If we look at the trend line, uh, here it is. So you can pretty much see the trend line hits about average, jumps back up. And about week 12, you start getting a little bit tougher and starts coming out uh, week 17. Eh, and, uh, you know, here's week uh, 
course, 18. So, so it's almost the tale of, of two halves of the season for Denver, which is nice to know if you're using Wilson as a streaming uh, situation. Detroit, moving on. Detroit has an early bye week, week six. Uh, first week, uh, definitely Detroit's defense, check this out, uh, is worth picking up and playing potentially through week seven. So uh, they are definitely might be a surprise defense there, the way the schedule shakes out. So they're definitely worth a streaming play. And definitely if you draft uh, 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 Detroit, you can really enjoy uh, and kind of set it and forget it for a nice block of time there. Uh, as far as the golf, he's going to get uh, four of the five first uh, before the buy. Nice and, uh, well, that's actually the, the running back. I'm sorry. So Swift gets nice four out of five gains. Golf gets two, three, four is easy, but, but first week's going to be a little tough and certainly the fifth week. They're going to really enjoy that week six buy because they're playing New England, and and the metrics say they they're going to uh, uh, really have a tough time dealing with New England, and it's an away game as well. So it's all not good. Looks like Swift would be the reason they might win that game if if it's an upset. Anyway, you can take a look at that and see where it goes. To me, uh, you know. Some of the uh, the metrics kind of get, or at least the labels kind of get a little bit tricky. So I like to look like this. And uh, Detroit has nice blocks and easy runs shown up here. Two, three, and four. Uh, 14, 15, four, 13, 14, 15. But look at week 16 and 17. So for your playoffs... If you're streaming quarterbacks, you probably need a partner for Goff there uh, uh, weeks 16 and 17. So that's what how I would uh, draft if I was streaming, that kind of thing. So they have uh, five tough games, six easy games. So it's kind of a all or none kind of it's easy or tough. So it's a... It's a funny kind of system there. So Detroit's going to have to, uh, uh, you know, especially weeks five through probably about 12, they're going to have some five tough games there uh, and two above average easy. So five out of seven tough in, uh, games in that block, but then 13, 14, 15, they actually kind of wake up. So it, you can see probably what the, the uh, trend line is going to be, and there it is. There's the runs, the super easy runs right here. Uh, and then in the middle here, it, it, you know, the floor drops out a little bit. So, you know, that's, and then the playoffs, things are uh, bad news in week 16 and 17. So uh, if you're looking for streaming kind of things, this is the kind of, issue that I would actually take, uh, and you can have access to this, you can take a picture of all these and kind of mix and match them. I know I'm just supposed to do it all for you. I don't do it that way. And, uh, you know, there are sites that will, you know, hand feed you, but I think you need to develop your own uh, process and research, but I'm kind of showing you what I do here. So a very interesting situation there. Uh, Green Bay Rodgers. Uh, Green Bay's D is definitely in play week one to stream. Weeks three and four as well. So if you're streaming Ds, you'll need somebody week two uh, uh, to deal with. But for the first uh, one, three, and four would be really, really good. So you could find you uh, somebody to stream in for Green Bay. Uh, you know, week two there, but they're definitely worth keeping weeks three and four. 
uh, 7 and 8, and certainly 10, 11, 12, not bad, and 15 and 17 of the playoffs. So there are a defense that you might want to hold on to in the playoffs. You get two nice weeks that way. A lot of discussion about uh, the uh, Jones and, and Dylan. Uh, first week, they get to run up the clock and the scores nice and easy. Rodgers gets it nice and easy. Wide receivers get it nice and easy as well. So it should be a point fest there against Minnesota, which we know is uh, uh, going to be rocking and rolling. So I could see a really high point scoring game that first week. So I would definitely in daily fantasy look and try to stack from this week here. This could be really interesting. So uh, Rodgers gets some tough toughness in the playoffs. Weeks 15 and 16 look kind of rough. So we'll see what's going on, even weeks 12 and 13. So overall, if we're looking at the bar graphs, you can kind of see First nine weeks, you're getting, what is that, uh, six out of nine. It's not bad, not bad at all. But when they have a tough thing, it is tough, two, four, and eight. So you definitely keep your eyes peeled for that, uh, uh, for lineup decisions, daily fantasy sp uh, sports, and certainly weeks 10, through about 15 are going to be tough and do, does see some, you know, some daylight weeks 16 and 17. Again, this is overall, this is blending everything together. So I think that's kind of interesting. And trend-wise, we have a nice week one. The bottom drops out. We get some nice times week nine. Then it drops out again. At about week 16, 17, it comes back. So you can, again, make a prediction. You would want streaming, you would want a mirror image of this stream pattern. And again, as far as I know, I hadn't ever seen this data done this way before. So once again, the old professor is uh, spanking the rest of the quote, experts here, not saying I'm an expert, I have a whole article discussing that, but come on, man, uh, you know, if I'm paying some money here, I want something like this, and you're saying, well, why do you do this, why not just use somebody, well, because nobody's doing it my way, and plus, when I do it, I can remember it and apply it, so that is always why I do my own research there, folks, uh, and I suggest you move in that direction as well. Okay, we're finishing up with this block of four teams. I hope you got the uh, fingernail sketch of the whole thing. And uh, I, I love how I put my data together. Hey, I did it and I put the time in. Uh, this stuff's not easy. You don't push a button. Okay, uh, so this is a lot of time uh, you know, uh, I know I'm sacrificing for your effort, the one or two that are listening. By the way, thank you for listening. Uh, you know, I know you probably don't want to share any of this goodness with your league mates. I understand. Uh, but here it is as well. So come back. We'll, we'll continue with the next four teams and we'll, uh, you know, keep that journey rolling here. Woo woo. Having fun.